Ernest Cole was a black South African photographer. He was born in 1940 in a township close to Pretoria in South Africa. Cole's fascination with photography started very early on. And already when he was 14 or 15 years old, he got a hold of a camera. After a few odd jobs, uh, Cole got um, employment as a darkroom assistant uh, at Drum Magazine in 1958. He wanted to be a photographer and not a darkroom assistant, and he therefore quit his job at Drum Magazine and went on more or less to become a freelance photographer. Ernest Cole departed for the United States on May 9th, 1966. Portions of his archive had already uh, been sent off to the US uh, with the journalist Lilibelt, who was also the writer uh, of the opening text for House of Bondage uh, later on. He took a little bit with him, but then later on, friends of his mailed him the rest of his negatives and contact sheets. House of Bondage was released in August 1967, so just 11 months after his arrival in the US. What we're showing at the Photographer's Gallery are all 16 chapters from House of Bondage. It's quite loyal to the book. The sections are as per his segmentation and titled. And also it's important to say that they're accompanied by words from Cole himself. We've also included an interview directly that's playing in the space. So his, his voice is, is very present, we hope, in the show. The apartheid system encompassed the everyday life of all black people, their education, the work, the fact that they could not move without having a, a pass. They could only travel in uh, trains that were specifically designed for them. For him, the book needed to go to the Senate, the United Nations, and change apartheid. House of Bondage was banned in South Africa. Ernest Cole uh, was also banned, lost uh, his nationality and could never go back to South Africa uh, during his lifetime. We're accompanying the show with a very small archival display from the Bishopsgate Institute, um, and it focuses on the anti-apartheid movement in London, uh, specifically through some of their special collections and archives. It was only through the sacrifice of people like Cole in getting work out there and circulated that the international anti-apartheid movement could, could get off the ground. I'd argue that looking carefully at the realities of apartheid and also the personal sacrifice of Cole, what happened to him for voicing his dissent, the risks he took, the personal bravery that he showed in order to document this for us is something, again, that's really um, powerful. Ernest Cole, before he was 30, he became a freelance photographer uh, against all odds. He migrated to the United States uh, on his own, and he released a, a very important book uh, when he was just 27 years old. I think the legacy that he is uh, giving uh, to us today, but he also gave uh, to the black community uh, in the 1960s is immense.